Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun geometry problem. We have a right triangle with a longer leg equal to 3 plus 2 root 3 and a shorter leg that has a length equal to 2 plus root 3. Inscribe a semicircle in this triangle with the following properties. Its diameter is along the shorter leg of the right triangle, one endpoint is at the right angle, and the semicircle is tangent to the hypotenuse. Now consider the region that's bounded between the shorter leg, the hypotenuse, and the semicircle. The question is, what is the area of this region? I thank Sanjeev for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. As usual, there are many ways to solve this problem. For those who are just interested in checking their answer, at the risk of killing my watch time, here is one way that you can solve the problem. The area of this region is equal to the area of the right triangle minus the area of the circular sector, and this works out to be root 3 over 2 minus pi over 4, which is approximately equal to 0.081. So that's the answer. But how did we get there? For those interested in the process, let me go through the solution in detail. So let's go back to the beginning. How can we calculate the area of this region? Start by constructing the center of the semicircle. Then construct a radius to the tangent point between the semicircle and the right triangle's hypotenuse. Now the area of this region will be equal to the area of this right triangle minus the area of the circular sector of the semicircle shown in yellow. All that remains is to calculate the relevant dimensions to calculate the areas of these shapes. So how do we do that? At the point of tangency between the semicircle and the hypotenuse, the radius of the semicircle and the hypotenuse will form a right angle. Let's label the other angles in this right triangle. Let's say we have a green angle here, and we have a purple angle here, which we'll label as theta. Now we have a right triangle where we have one right angle, we have this green angle, and we have this purple angle. But notice the entire large triangle also has a right angle and the same green angle. So this small triangle will be similar to the entire right triangle. In order to illustrate this, let us rotate and scale the smaller triangle. And now all we need to do is flip it horizontally. So this illustrates that the smaller green triangle is similar to the entire right triangle. So all three angles are equal to each other. So the remaining acute angle in this large right triangle must be equal to theta. So let's work out the value of this angle theta. Suppose a semicircle has a radius that's equal to r. So this is r, and this length is also equal to r. In order to figure out the value of the angle theta, we will either use trigonometry or we might get lucky. So let's just try to get lucky first. Let's take the ratio of the length of the longer leg to the shorter leg. So we want 3 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2 plus root 3. In order to simplify this, let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The denominator is 2 plus root 3. We will multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 minus root 3. This makes the denominator a difference of squares, which is 2 squared minus the square of root 3. In the top, we just have to go through and distribute. We now carefully will simplify, and magically, this all works out to be equal to root 3. So what does this mean? The ratio of the longer leg to the shorter leg of this right triangle is equal to root 3, and that's precisely the ratio of a special 30-60-90 right triangle. The longer leg is opposite the 60-degree angle, and the shorter leg is opposite the 30-degree angle. 2 plus root 3 is the shorter leg, and so the angle it is opposite is equal to 30 degrees. So theta is equal to 30 degrees, 
That's this angle here, and it's also this purple angle over here. Let's now look at this smaller right triangle. We know it's a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So the ratio of the longer leg to the shorter leg will also be equal to root three. So let's say the shorter leg is equal to X and the longer leg is equal to R. So we have X divided by R is equal to one divided by root three. Multiplying both sides by R, we get that X is equal to R divided by root three. Finally, we know that the hypotenuse will be twice the shorter leg, so this will be equal to 2r divided by root 3. So how can we solve for r? We know that this length is equal to 2r divided by root 3, but there's another way that we can express this length. We know the entire leg is equal to 2 plus root 3, but then if we subtract the radius, we will also get the same length. So this length is equal to two plus root three minus r, but it's also equal to two r divided by root three. So we have a linear equation in r. Let's solve this equation for r. Multiply both sides of the equation by root three, distribute through, then let's bring everything to the left-hand side of the equation. From here, we will factor out an r. Bring the r term to the right-hand side of the equation and divide through by root three plus two. All that remains is to simplify this fraction. Multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So this will be root three minus two. We then just simplify and this will all work out magically so that r is equal to root three. Dividing through by root three this means r divided by root three is equal to one. So we are now ready to do the area calculation. The area of this region is equal to the area of the green right triangle minus the area of the circular sector in yellow. So we just need the dimensions. The right triangle has dimensions of r and r divided by root three. We know its area will be one half the product of the legs. We know that r is equal to root three and r over root three is equal to one. Now the circular sector has a radius that's equal to r and a central angle that's equal to 30 degrees. So the area of this will be pi r squared multiplied by 30 divided by 360 because that's the fraction of the whole circle 30 degrees will make. So finally, we substitute in our parameters that we've already solved for. We substitute r is equal to root three and r divided by root three is equal to one. So the area of the right triangle works out to be root three divided by two. The area of the circular sector will work out to be pi divided by four. And that's it. The area of this region will be equal to root three divided by two minus pi over four, which is approximately equal to 0 0.081. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.